This is Sucker Free Production, brought to you by Sucker Free University. In this episode, I want to talk about knowledge and how important having knowledge is and applying knowledge and what it is to be knowledgeable in, 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 your, in situations and in, in what you're doing in life. So, if you were to Google uh, the definition of knowledge, it'll tell you facts, information, and, sk and skills acquired by a person through experience or education. The theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. And it was another definition they had was awareness or familiarity gained by experience or fact of a situation. So one says facts, information, and skills acquired by a person. And the other one says awareness and familiarity gained by experience. So for me, my definition of having knowledge and, and 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 being knowledgeable is having the ability to uh to seek and obtain information you know what I mean collect information from different different sources r rather via media one on one through a person well this is media but when i say one on one through you know interacting with uh socializing with people or you can you can gain knowledge through uh reading or you can just gain knowledge through going through your everyday life experiences but having knowledge is essential in, in uh and doing and putting together a plan and having an understanding in the task that you're doing at the moment that way you're not blindly going into situations knowing knowing is always better than not knowing sometimes you got to always have even if you're part of a collective you got to always always have and maintain your own thoughts, healthy, positive thoughts, and know and be knowledgeable. I uh, mean, knowledgeable about whatever you're doing. Whether you in school, you playing sports, you at a job, whatever you're doing, it's always best to seek and obtain knowledge to whatever you're doing. It it, it makes situations in life much easier versus just going 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 into things on on blind on faith. You know, faith is faith is a good thing to have, but you don't want to have blind faith. You always want to know. Be in the know, know exactly what's going on, on exactly what you're doing, know exactly what's going on in your, in your surroundings, you know. So you don't never want to just go somewhere and just go off, go off of what somebody's saying or what you think. Let your thoughts always be come from something that you know, and how you know is through, like I said, experience and doing research and doing the background on things. Always seeking, seeking information. For me, a person who is always seeking information. And um, trying to gain some knowledge is, is a is is a person of uh of substance. They, you know, what I mean, they they they're a person of some type of intellect and working on something positive. But at at the same time, you could also gain knowledge that's not really useful. So you got to be you got to be real conscious of the knowledge that you that you that you putting into your brain. You don't want to be gaining getting a bunch of knowledge on on something that's really non-effective or has no effect on our lives or, or or in productive situations you always want to gain knowledge and, and and seek knowledge from reliable sources too you don't want to just go you know sometimes and i fell victim to this a lot i fall victim to it but not as much sometimes when you thirsty for knowledge when you got a thirst for knowledge you you got a tendency to to, to take in some time what sound good or make the most sense but then that, that might not be the the case when you when you seeking the truth you know what I'm saying? Knowledge don't always equal up to the truth. So you gotta understand the knowledge that you seek and has to end up, has to uh, has to be coming from truth. Has to has to have truth to it. Has to be all truth, and you just can't be seeking garbage knowledge. Can't be uh seeking false narratives. So you gotta as far even so when you go and forget to, when you seeking knowledge, you gotta have understanding of what you're interpreting. Then that's another subject we're gonna talk and talk about real soon. Have an understanding, but you know when you. Now, knowledge is something that it get you, that can get you so far ahead. Just taking the time to have an understanding of something and do the research on something, it can get you so far ahead in life. <clears throat> Excuse me. It can get you so far ahead when you're doing things in life, like when you when you building systems and you working with others trying to work on things and improve things. <clears throat> if a person see that you're knowledgeable about a certain subject, that 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 can put you in a, in a better position and that. Then your peers that surround you trying to pursue the, pursue the same thing. You know what I'm saying? As far as anything that you're doing, 
school, class, <clears throat> streets, whatever, whatever you're doing, if you if you sit back and take time to listen and learn and, and take in the knowledge instead of just going out there and, and faking it, sometimes you got to sit back and have patience, have patience and take it in. Gain, gain some knowledge, do do your research, and have a, a a clear understanding or just about right understanding of what you're doing and, and go at it versus just going all helter skelter and being all over the place and having no direction and knowing what you're doing and really making yourself look bad and hindering whatever you're trying to do. When <clears throat> some people, some people we learn different, and that's one thing I learned. Like some people don't, not really receptive to, to, to knowledge sometime for for a few different reasons, but mainly they don't is some people don't learn well when somebody tell them something. Some people learn better by reading. Some people might learn better by just going into the field and experiencing hands on. Some people might learn better than uh might learn better doing video. So everybody, everybody way of gain, you got to figure out your way of gaining your intel, gaining knowledge. My way of re receiving a, a knowledge might not work for the next way, next person uh, way of gaining knowledge. Traditionally, we talk, we told to read books. Some people are not big on reading books to gain knowledge, but it's so nowadays there's so many ways that you can gain knowledge. Like doing kind of like reading a book is like a thing of the past. With this social media, with social media and all these different seminars and things going on <clears throat> out here reading is like kind of i i don't want to say secondary but it's not it's not it's other it's other ways that you can obtain knowledge and get information and be just as and be just as sharp with the knowledge as if just as the person that was reading a book so you know you got to understand yourself and how you obtain knowledge and understand that you might don't have the patience like the, like the next person to sit there and read a book for hours. Your thing might be videos. You might you might get the information. You might interpret the information much better looking at videos, seeing pictures, you know, things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that because it ain't about how you learn it. It's about learning and getting the knowledge, you know. So, you know, people might, oh, you, you got to look at pictures. Something wrong with you. You can't. There ain't nothing wrong with you. You get it how you get it. It's about knowing. What difference do it make if you read a book and I looked at some videos and, and some pictures and all that, and we know the exact same thing. What difference do it make? If we could go, if we could hold a conversation about the subject, what difference do it make? And I gotta tell you how, well, what school y'all? I didn't go to school, I just, you know, went on YouTube and, you know what I mean, started following a couple people, bought a couple classes and studied it like I was reading a book and, like, really? Yeah, nah. Well, I went to this school, yeah. Now, now when you, now this is having the knowledge and understanding. You went to school to be in debt. I ain't in debt, and I and we just and we just as and we on the same level. If not, I might be. I might my application might be better because I'm I'm not overthinking it. I come from, what anything I learn, I'm immediate applying it. You know, people that are coming from not you know talking down on schools because school is school is a beautiful thing and a lot of us definitely need it. But sometimes when you coming from an institution as far as school and programming, your application skills is not as is not as good as your knowledge skills, meaning you smart with the book. You can read, you can memorize the book and pass the test, but when it comes to applying your knowledge, how how is that? So that's that's a whole nother level. So you know knowledge is a tool that that is a part of a a equation that make that builds the success. Knowledge is not the end all be all. Cause you, you have people you know, you got to be knowledgeable, but knowing you might not be the smartest person about retaining information, but you got a crazy work ethic. Your willpower to succeed is supersedes, or if it goes way past sitting in a classroom and gaining knowledge, you got to have the knowledge within to know. Okay, this person's smarter than me, but they 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 they, they work ethic. They not a hard worker like me. They they ain't not gonna get out there and bust their knuckles like me. They not gonna put the work in like me, but they got the they got the knowledge. Now, I got the knowledge, I got the self-knowledge to know maybe I need to incorporate one hand wash another. Now, that's when you come in and put in, and put in that your, 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 your self-knowledge and what you know about yourself and about situations of life and applying it to making it work for both parties. So don't, don't just think knowledge is about going to school and reading a book and that's not what knowledge, that's one part of knowledge. And that's not really the most part, the most important part of knowledge. Knowledge is about knowing, having understanding of self. Knowing, like I just said, being knowledgeable about self, knowing I'm not dumb, but I'm 
it takes a, it take it might take a person a little bit longer to uh obtain information. You might don't have that time, but like I said, you're a hard worker. You consistent in your work. You don't mind doing going above and beyond to get, to get the task done. But the clerical work, the the uh, the black and white, that ain't your thing. You know what I'm saying? The the bit the, the the business side ain't your thing. You more the 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 work the work the production side. You know what I'm saying? That's your thing. So you incorporate with somebody who more into the 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 logi not the logistics, the clerical side, who who could do the paperwork, who could meet up with the accountants and understand what they're talking about and how the paperwork right. Now you're in corporate. You got somebody in the office and then you're on the work site. Now you got a business. So now you just turned yourself because you, because people was telling you and you might have thought from your surroundings if you don't, knowledge is about being smart. So if you ain't smart and you just a hard worker, you just, you just got, you just got to work all your whole life. Yeah, but you can work for yourself just because you're not good with that paperwork or whatever. And this is just one situation I'm using when you can you when you could apply the fact that you're not your your knowledge is not good in a certain a certain area, but you can apply your knowledge to your strengths and what you do. So I'm just using the fact that a person might be a hard worker and incorporate with somebody who's not a hard worker, but they're good with doing doing the the the, the clerical side of it, the paperwork, the, the the desk work, the office work. You know, y'all incorporate. Now y'all going in business together. So now you just turn with a per, with, with the average person to think of hard work. You can't run a business. We you could do whatever you want. You got all you got to use. You got to have knowledge of using what's around you and sticking to your strengths. Always, always work on your strength. Always stick to your strengths and and work on your weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? Don't focus on your weaknesses. Focus on what you're strong at, and just work on what you weak what you weak on. Improve on it, but don't stick to it. Don't stay stuck on it because he might be good. Like I said, you might, this person, he might could live, he might could stack a truck or he might be good with the logistics doing running a warehouse real good, but he can't go into that office. And you think, oh, if he can run that warehouse, I could do it. You get on that warehouse floor, you can't, the production go way down for that week or two that you down there. When you go back to your position of comfort, you realize like, okay, he make it look good because that's what he do. You knowledgeable about knowing that's what he do. And that's where you put people in positions in, and you make systems to work to everybody's strengths, having the knowledge how to put certain things together. It's not all about black and white writing things down. It's about having the knowledge to comprehend the situation about whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Being knowledgeable about deep people, different personalities. You know what I'm saying? Knowing, okay, I know me and this person, we don't really, we don't really, we don't really uh, agree on this topic. So I know when it comes to this topic, we. I, I, I make my point and move on, no matter what the rebuttal is. I make my report, I make my uh, point and move on because I know we're not going to agree. We're definitely going to agree to disagree. So you got to have the knowledge of that in certain things. You know, not, knowledge gets you, when you got knowledge, it, it gets you out of a lot of situations because when you're knowledgeable about certain things, you can kind of, you kind of more in tune with your emotion and how to react to certain things. A lot of times, a lot of aggression from my emotion comes from not knowing. You know what I'm saying? Getting in an uncomfortable situation and not knowing, not being knowledgeable how, how to really respond to the situation. So we get all flooded and frustrated and we blow up. So, you know, not not having, not knowing what to do and not ha having lack of knowledge, that's where a lot of violence comes from. Not knowing how to communicate, not knowing, not having the knowledge on how to deal with your emotions, not knowing, not having knowledge to remove yourself out of certain situations. And that turn and that turns into all this. Just not knowing. Remember, knowledge, the the base word is no. Not knowing, not having the knowledge, it it it, ha it has the world it, right now, the whole world is in is in uh upside down with certain things knowing and not knowing certain things knowing knowing certain things and manipulating it on a on a on a group or a race of people who don't know what you know and you making that your knowledge and your and your and your knowingness of certain things you're using it and applying pressure or manipulating and pushing your own will on a class or 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 like i said a race of people who may who who lacking the knowledge lacking the know or might know but don't know how to, you know, don't have the knowledge on how to conquer what's going on or the willpower. So that's what I'm saying. Knowledge is a, is a, it goes, it goes, knowledge goes, it goes forever. Like, there's so many different, different uh, ways you can use knowledge for good and bad, but knowledge is just not just about reading books and 
and being a bookworm is not that's not what knowledge is about. That's what they push us. Oh, you're not a, you if you don't go to school and you don't read, you're not a knowledgeable person. How do people get the stuff that they write in books? Experience, learning, having the knowledge, having a knowing life, living life. That's where the knowledge comes from, living your life and understanding and and really learning from your experiences. I mean, the the real the real knowledge is what we go through every day. That's how we get the words that's in them books. They ain't just fall out the sky. Those words is written from everyday experiences in life and people who sat back and, and and was conscious and had the knowledge of what was going on and this and this didn't just you know how certain people we go through things and it just don't stick like you experience things in life and don't realize you experienced it because you're not you don't have the knowledge you don't know what to look for you don't know what you what that was about you don't know how to read between lines you just take things for face value so that goes on we, these words and these, uh, these wise words that we that we read to better ourselves it's just life experience people who who was knowledgeable and had the conscious who who knew to be conscious of everything that was going on around them, and they use their words to express to the world, whether it's, the, it's being manipulated through certain things, you know what I'm saying? And then when you get your knowledge too, you could take, we could take the same knowledge and use it for two different things. You know, I'm not gonna go deep into it, but some people use religion, and you know, some people use it for good, some people for, use it for their personal agenda to do things. People take, you know, uh, laws. People take laws, and same law, but somehow, some way, it had a different. It worked differently for these two. You know what I'm saying? So now you got to be understanding of your knowledge. Once you get your knowledge, you got to be understanding, like I said, of what the knowledge that you're taking in. You got you got to know what how to apply certain knowledge. Every that's another topic I'm definitely going to pull up. But is the understanding? Because once you get the knowledge, you got to have the understanding what to, what you're applying it on. What's 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 the What's the plus? What's the minus to your knowledge? Because the things you know is like, and how you and how you communicate them and and express them can be a can be a a weapon or it can be your key to success. So your your knowledge and how you how you understand and your interpretation of things with your knowledge and your know is is uh. Is is very powerful because you you can like I said you can you, you, the way you take the knowledge in and your understanding can translate to some of the best things in the world. But if you don't have a clear understanding of, of what you of, of, of the knowledge you're taking in, and it, it, you can use it for the wrong, it, it can be used against you. You can use it against yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's just something I want to talk about for the knowledge and um when we do. Be aware, take every experience that you go through in life as a knowledgeable experience that you're learning something. Knowledge over time turns into wisdom once you keep experiencing and you get an understanding. You know, knowledge is like the seed that turns into so many things once you apply it and you get an understanding of what you what you learn. You know what I'm saying? We learn, we learn, you know, we get the knowledge. We you get we get knowledge from so, <clears throat> so many different things. You know what I'm saying? It's not just reading. You get knowledge from Nature, birds, the bees, you know what I'm saying? You just got to be in tune with your spirit to understand and, and stop taking everything for a face value. Some things you, I guess, need to take for a face value, but some things you got to you gotta take you gotta take time to want to know, to want to have the knowledge and not just let people give you the knowledge. Figure out your own knowledge. Get your own understanding of different things. Ask why. Always want to know why. Always be in the. Always want to know why was going on. Always want to be gaining more than what you're being told. Somebody tell you something. Always have a, a humble, rebuttal as far as wanting to dig deep into what into what they're telling you. To see to dig to, to pick their brain and see how knowledgeable they are, or just to see if they passing on uh, information that they got from somebody else. Always be trying to get to the root of the source, and then when you get to the source, try to get an understanding on. The why, you know what I'm saying? Why this and why that? Always be seeking the knowledge and use your knowledge as as your as your as your private jet to change changing or making whatever situation you in better. You know what I'm saying? Always sit, always use, always always use your knowledge as a as a as a vessel to take you somewhere where your body can't. You know what I'm saying? When you when you bound somewhere and you stuck somewhere at a job and incarceration or somewhere where you don't want to be or you maybe not necessarily where you don't want to be where you have to be for the moment, use your mind, use your knowledge 
to make proper preparations to take you to the next step when you make your next move. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta that's that's what make that's why it's important to gain proper knowledge and not gain the knowledge about who the popping uh rapper right now, what's going on in the entertainment world. That's cool for entertainment, but you gotta you can't you can't be overwhelmed in that. You gotta you gotta have the knowledge on building bank accounts, building your credit profile, understanding understanding your taxes, you know what I'm saying? Understanding, I mean, how to take advantage of these programs that's available out here. Get get the knowledge in that and spread that knowledge out into into your immediate surroundings, into your tribe, into your family of people. Instead of calling people up, talking about a fight or a breakup, or did you see this on Love and Hip Hop? Did you see this? Nah, that's all. That's garbage knowledge. That's nice. That's, that's dummy knowledge. That's not no food for thought. You gotta always have something. Even if one is being entertained, you gotta always leave something for somebody to be thinking. So that brain always working, always stretching. You want you want to you want you to be. You know when your brain working and it's stretching other than headaches when you when you doing something when you using when you doing a task and using your brain and you just want to just stop for a second you know or you get aggravated that's when you know your brain is stretching it's like when you work you know, when you working you get tight when you working out your your muscles your body get tight your brain the same way when you doing a task and you realize and you just keep hitting that hitting that dead end hitting that dead end getting the same results that's because your brain is stretching and your and your know how your knowledge your knowledge tank is 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 waking up. Sometimes you might gotta give it a break and come right back to it. But always be seeking the good knowledge. Always be seeking the knowledge that's gonna take you somewhere and get you around a different class and a different uh tax bracket. You know what I'm saying? As far as financially, you could be around different people who giving you different insights. Try to get try to stay from being if you around the, the everyday life is is evolved around people who just smoking blunts and doing the whatnot and doing the, the no good shit. Take some time and slowly start introducing yourself to different people. You got a job and you, you, your know, co-workers, they different people, but they do things amongst each other, with each other on the weekend. Slide with them on one weekend. Get out and see what they living like and start and start challenging yourself to do different things, gain different knowledge. You know what's going on around you. You've been doing it for so long. You already know. You down there can predict certain people in certain situations. Start being around situations where you can't predict it, where you got to learn and know and figure certain things out differently and gain the knowledge with them, different experiences with them, and it'll translate to you a slowly and surely become a different person in your normal life to where you will see the normal things you were doing and you will know, like, this is just not acceptable or I've outgrown this. And you will, and you will know, you will have the knowledge and know and the understanding where different, these people over here are doing different. We all basically in the same tax bracket or we in and saying they might be doing a little better you gotta know i gotta change my surroundings now but you will never know you need to change you'll never have the knowledge and the know to change your surroundings if you stay stuck in the same area sometimes it takes for you to get up and go and just be around a different people not necessarily financially in a better situation just <clears throat> living better as far as they doing different things they not stuck around getting high and drunk they not they not gossiping with each other they getting up doing things act simple activities you know what i'm saying you, you got to get in tune. You got to, you know, start moving around and getting to know it and gain as much knowledge as you can, useful knowledge as you can. Let your brain expand. That way you can pass that knowledge and that know-how down to the next generation, people who look up to you. And you don't want your bad habits that they see connected to you. You don't want them to <clears throat> rub off on them. You want to be able to sit down. They might see you. You want to be able to sit down and talk to them about credit. Just mention it to them and then build with them as they get older, you know, Drop the seed on them. That way, they familiar with it. Then you know, as they as they get more understanding and knowledge as as they self, it stick it to them. You can introduce more information. And this is how we start changing generational uh, curses that they say we got. Different, you know what I mean, wealth gaps. This is how it's not going to just be with us. We got to start. We got to have the knowledge and know and knowledge and understanding. And know it's not just about us. If we trying to change certain situations around us in our communities, we got to stop. Everything starts with self, but we got to know the reason. The reward, we might don't seek the reward. The reward for me and my is the results. Me talking to people about fin being financially literate and this and that. Then they come come back to me, give me information about it. And I know I ain't sticking in. They telling me they got they they went and filled out for this thing, they getting this off their credit, they doing this. That's what it's about. Having the knowledge of certain things. Once you get the knowledge, and a lot of us, once we get the knowledge of things, we realize certain things wasn't as difficult as we might have would have thought it was. We just didn't go out and get the knowledge to get the introduction to realize, like, oh, this ain't really, yeah, nah. 
You just gotta, you gotta introduce yourself because nobody else gonna do it. If you don't show no interest and you don't wanna be seeking the knowledge, who, nobody not gonna open the door for you. You gotta go knocking yourself. And if you can't get in, you gotta come back. You gotta be persistent. You gotta be consistent. You gotta show them that you, 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 you trying to get the knowledge. You trying to, you trying to move to that next level. You trying to obtain the information and the know how, how to, to do what you need to do. But yeah, so that was just my, my little, my little, uh, little, little talk I want to drop about knowledge and how important it is to get knowledge and always be obtaining knowledge in a good way. Whether you obtain, you are playing sports, you want to, you get the knowledge, you know how you shoot a, a, the best jump shot you can have, how you need the 90 degree angle, how you have that release at the top of your shot. Do the knowledge on things to improve yourself, certain things, you know, whether it's you want to body structure, anything. Always be doing the knowledge for self-improvement. That should be your number one motivation to obtain knowledge so you can improve on self. Once you improve on self, your self-esteem builds, and you now you're open to obtaining knowledge, and you you open to seeking all type of, you know what I'm saying? Open, you open to all type of things. So that's, 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 that's basically it, you know what I'm saying? Like, favorite, I mean, like, <laughs> like, comment, and share. Let me know what y'all think. All, all comments is welcome. I don't care. It's all good. I'm trying to build to improve myself and help y'all open up the door to want to improve yourselves too.